This is chaos. A devastation tonight. I will beat you in the last man standing match. <laughs> Oh, what a load of crap. Pinkiller X, you think you're a monster because you wear a mask? You think you're a monster because you're six foot something? Guess what? I stand at a very unintimidating five foot eight, and I'm the closest thing to a monster that this company has ever seen. And do you know why that is? Do you know why that is, Painkiller? Because I'm not a little boy in a mask. I'm not somebody who likes to play dress-up, Painkiller. See, to be a monster, you don't need a mask. No, you don't need a mask. You need to be ruthless, you need to be merciless, and you need to be reckless. I fit all those credentials. You are not a monster. You're a little boy in a mask. It's about time that you come to realize that. Okay, you have the minions of darkness. I have the horde. You have a bunch of pathetic followers, one who thinks he's possessed, the other one who can't walk, and the third being your little brother. I have loyal subjects that will defend me and fend for me at any moment. No matter what the scenario is, the horde is not far behind me. What do you have? You have men in makeup. <laughs> Painkiller, you're not a monster. I'm a monster. Tonight, after I beat you, after I become the last man standing, after my hand is raised, I'm gonna go on to fight Corn. I'm gonna go on to fight Corn the Decimator. And then I'll prove to him what a monster is. I don't need to wear a mask. I don't need to be any taller than I am. All I need to do is to be ruthless. Something you don't know how to do. And I've heard that you're upset. You're upset at what I did to little Malice. <laughs> Snapped his leg clean right off. And now you're upset at me? You're angry at me for what I did to your little buddy? Well, guess what, Painkiller? This isn't a fight. This isn't a battle. This is a war. There are always sacrifices in war, and all is fair. Malice was the sacrifice. So tell me, Painkiller, does it hurt you to know that Malice will never wrestle again? Does it pain you to know that I broke his leg to get to you? Does it pain you to know that Malice may not even ever walk again. No, no, no. What must really pain you is to know that it's all your fault. Hurts, doesn't it? Feel that, down, that shiver down your spine, that stinging in your stomach? It's called guilt, painkiller. Man, must suck. I bet you're thinking... You're gonna take out all that anger on me. You're gonna, you're gonna put in 110% against me. Good. I want you to. I want you to painkiller, cause just like the first time, I wanna pretend. I want you to pretend that you are the monster. I want you to think that you are this incredible force, so I can put you back down and put you back into the cage where you belong, cause you're nothing more than a little boy. You're nothing more than a sick animal. But you're not a monster. You're not a beast. No. No. Here you are, this little chihuahua, thinking that you're a pit bull. You're not. So put that damn sombrero back on and head to Taco Bell. Because you can't beat me, painkiller. I am the archangel. I am the real effing deal. You can't beat me, painkiller. Give it up. You put on, you bring out whatever you gotta bring, you bring all the weapons you need to bring, you get all your friends, you get all your friends friends, I want you to bring an army. No, no, screw that. Bring a militia, all right? You will not be able to beat me, painkiller. I will be the last man standing. And corn, you're next on my list, my list of victims.
Painkiller X, Corn, Malice. It doesn't matter which mass freak this company throws at me. I'm going to take him out. Because I know it. Sin Gates knows it. Colossus knows it. Casey knows it. Everyone, including our co-owner, Pistol Pete, knows that I'm the best of the best. That I am unstoppable. So, Painkiller, do what you must. Bring out what you need to bring out. But know this. Once I beat you, much like your buddy Malice, I'm going to destroy you and send you to the hospital. And then there, maybe after a few lobotomies, you'll understand that you aren't a monster. You're a little boy playing dress up.